every one of your trades guys every one of your trades should you should run through you should do that litmus test in P R all this stands for is you should be able to name the event dual topping tail bars that's right there now why is this so important what this step <clears throat> ensures that you're doing is you're not trading an idea a lot of traders a lot of novice traders don't realize that they're not trading anything but an idea and so let me give you an example of trading an idea i think this is not going to go down anymore that's an idea um i i think this should stop going up from here that's an idea that is not an event that is nothing but an idea and traders a lot of novice traders are trading ideas and they're not trading events by you requiring that you name it you're checking yourself am i trading an idea or am i trading an actual event and if it's an actual event event what's the name of it dual topping tail bars that's an event okay so check i've named i named this up the second part of your test is this event should be in a playable position make sure it's just not in a stupid stupid position there are positions that you should not be shorting in and there are positions that you should not be going long in make sure that if it's a short and dual topping tail bars is a short event that it's in an acceptable position all right it's not the greatest but it's acceptable we still have room to fall back to support here if these tail bars were at support i would say that it doesn't pass the position test all right but we're high enough above support for it to be okay so i'm going to check that off and if i take two lots does it meet my risk profile? Meaning that if my maximum loss per trade is $100, if I get stopped out, will I lose less than $100? And if the answer is yes, I will lose less than my maximum, then I've got a three check play. Now listen carefully. Any play that gives you three goes, you get all, it passes all three things. Not only is it a trade that should be taken, it's your destiny. You would be actually committing a sin against your soul as a trader if you didn't take that. The reason I say that is because all three, all trades that are that meet this test will do nothing but create positive experience for you it doesn't matter whether the trade winds up making money or not what matters more than this the success of the trade from a money perspective is the experience experience from three check trades are the highest experience of all meaning that you will take a step forward in your journey toward trading mastery. If you make sure that every single trade you take is a three check trade, your progress will, will occur at the highest speed possible. What slows progress down is the taking of bad trades, the building of bad experience, this ensures that every experience of mine is a productive one, is a good one, is a pure one. And there can be, there's nothing that can slow you down more than building the wrong experience. All right. And this three check process 
ensures that you're building the right experience. Just make sure you're only doing three check trades and you'll be fine. This is the one I think that Ari took. But anyway, Google was decent play. And again, you're taking this is in this case, you don't have a dual tail. You have a single tail. Is it in the best location? No, but is it an acceptable location? Yes. If this tail is right there, then it's not. That's a stupid location. So let's run this through the NPR test again, right? So can you name this? Yes. Toppy tail bar. Is the position the stupid position? No. It's acceptable. All right. You have profit room. All right. Is if I take this play, let's do it again in P R. OK. So I can name it. It's a topping tail bar. It's an acceptable position. If I take, let's say, two lots. All right. Will I lose, if I get stopped out, will I lose less than my maximum loss? Let's say my maximum loss per trade. Let's say that. Now you've got a three-check play. It's your destiny to take this play. You have to determine now, is this a whale play? And the answer is no. Again, you've only got room to major support of one leg. So this has to be an acceptable trade and bye-bye. You're not going for a leg. You've got no room for a full whale play. Make sense? You guys got it? One leg out. Boom. Boom. No whale play here. This is a monster gap, all right? There are gaps that are so big. I was mentioning this earlier, but there were gaps that there are gaps that are so big that they completely disassociate themselves with their past. So it's almost as if the stock is experiencing a brand new initial public offering. This is the first bar of its life a brand new life that has nothing to do with its past. So there is no position. If you don't have a past, there is no position. Position requires that you have a past to judge from. But if your gap is so big that it disassociates itself with the past, it's starting a brand new life, there is no position. You need it to build new history now. And so you can get trapped into thinking that this is very far up and should come down. But that's associating it with its past. But is the gap big enough to where there is no association with the past? I hope I'm making myself clear that a gap can be so big that it's you have to treat the stock as if it's experiencing a brand new life and that there is no past anymore and i think uber fits this scenario this is not overbought like you think it is it's a brand new stock it's a it has a brand new life now all right and so, you know, I did have some traders. I did have a trader or two who did take this short here. On the bear 180. But they exited here. Which is exiting on a. A two, um, a dual color stop rule. All right. So here's one and here's two when you're in a play your stock should not be ignoring two attempts all right here's one attempt to go down 
and then it gets ignored and here's another attempt to go down so you you your trades in trouble your trade should not have one attempt to go down ignore and then two attempt to go down and it gets ignored you should be out of this on the two color rule play that's something we'll have a special session on perhaps in the near future it's a protective measure i think that all traders should have in their arsenal so this just didn't go based on the the two failed attempts here out here no need to stop out way up here all right Okay, they 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 uh, Uber they initiated a stock buyback program. Interesting. Okay, awesome. Your depth of knowledge is amazing, boss. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Doctor ZPI saying I need to develop the missed money is better than lost money mentality. Yeah, um, you. Yeah, some people need to, to keep reminding themselves that missed money is better than lost money, but you can also take that too far because you can start using it as a cop-out that's covering up fear of taking good trades. And you're camouflaging the fear by saying, well, missed money is better than lost money, but not if you keep missing money. It's not, it's not good. So that npr test keeps you honest there if your trade passes that test you are compelled to take the trade there is no excuse miss money is better than lost money on a trade that has three goes three checks so just make sure that you are not skipping good trades. That's a problem as well. All right, guys. So don't forget, this is my assistant in a way. If you ever have a question regarding a trade, this is going to give you the answer. Well, can I name it? What's the position? If it doesn't work, is the loss controllable? That's it. This will get you the answer every single time. Should I take this trade? Is it a good trade? Is it worth the risk? It gets you the answer every time. Take this NPR test and apply it to every trade you take for the next week and watch what happens.